Hello, my name is Richard Avila, and I'm a Principal Solutions Architect here at Duke Control. And in this video, I'm going to actually walk you through how to build a security workflow within a Duke Control platform to provide data access control within your SaaS environment. So let's jump right on in. Under the workflows page, you have an option to go ahead and build from predefined playbooks, or you can build it from scratch, or you can import a workflow in. For this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and build one from scratch. What you'll find is that once you're actually in our no code canvas, you'll be able to go ahead and select from different actions on the left hand side. But I can actually select on the right hand side from different integrations that we have what actual events or action I want to actually trigger this security workflow on. So for my use case, I actually want to do it on changing document visibility. In addition to not only being able to trigger on document visibility, I actually want to get a little more granular. I actually want to maybe get it down specifically to a specific organization within my company or specific group within my organization, I should say. So in this case, I'm actually going to say it's going to be within finance. So whenever finance, you know, makes someone in finance makes a change to a document, it'll go ahead and trigger this workflow. Now I'll allow them to go ahead and share that file um, externally or, 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 you know, make that doc document public. Um, and say I can go ahead and put a timer on that and I can say it's, I'm going to make it for 30 days as an example. Once the 30 days is up, you know, instead of the individual in finance to remember, hey, you know, I should probably go ahead and maybe uh, disable that share or, you know, uh, continue on that share, leave that share, right? I can actually go ahead and have an approval process to be created. So that way, uh, notification can be sent to the individual uh, to remember that, hey, do I want to go ahead and uh, extend this share or do I actually want to remove this share? So I can actually send this uh, via email uh, to that individual or I can set up something in Slack for as a not to notify them. For us, for this specific uh, use case, I'm going to go ahead and do it in Slack. So what I could do is select the uh, get actor, the you know the individual that actually um, did the share, and then I can actually put a message here, and I just have a message that I copied, um, and then you can preview this message, and you'll see that actually what they'll see is that they'll get a message saying, hey, would you like to go ahead and extend the share of this document that you've actually shared for another 30 days, and then they can either approve it or reject it. 